YouTube, Rook here from Rook Geek Goodness, my little channel on the web for all things geeky and cool. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Welcome back to another brand new video. And that's right, we got some more Lorcana first chapter booster pack cracking. The restock has hit at my local Walmart. Price point for these guys are about $7 a pack. We got four packs here. These are all considered first edition. Again, this product came out in, I think, late August, early September to a huge demand. They made another run of these cards as sort of a reprint, but it's still considered first edition. Um, let's crack into these guys and see what we get here. I hope you do enjoy this content. Remember to click the like button, subscribe for more content like this on the channel. Let's get into these four packs of Lorcana right now. Well, here's our packaging, what it would look like. This is on Walmart's uh, pegs. You can see it has a little uh, post that you would hold here. And the packs are inside this uh, packaging. So all you really do is just crack them open this way and you slide the packaging out. So it is, you know, a normal looking pack. This is, of course, the Brave Little Taylor version of Mickey Mouse. And let's crack into it and see what we get here, guys. There are commons, uncommons, rares, super rares, legendaries, and the really hard to get after, the enchanted cards, which are silver bordered. They're really hard to, to basically come across. Huge demand on the secondary market. I'll just kind of slow roll some of these packs so you can see what they look like, and then we'll move a little faster. This would be a common. This little symbol here, as you know, it's a common. You can see that right there. Let's get some more light over here so you guys can see what's going on. So this would be a common card. Again, these are all commons, as they have the little circle icon right here. Uh, stone Scimitar, we have Develop Your Brain. Uh, we have Stone Commons, Fire the Cannons for, P for Peter Pan and Hook. We have uh, One Jump Ahead, which is Aladdin. These are not considered uncommons with this symbol. We have Be Our Guest. We have a Frying Pan, which is again, uh, that's Rapunzel. That is an, another uncommon. Here's our one of our rares. Uh, this is Hans. You can see it's a rare by the triangle symbol. We have here a legendary. This is the gold symbol. This is Hades. You can tell it's legendary by this gold symbol. You always get at least two rares at least in a pack, every single pack. And they could upshift it, which is what this one did. This is considered legendary. And it's always considered a uh, foil at the very back of the pack. And this is a foil card right here. You can see it right there. And that's considered an uncommon foil. You always get these sort of uh, filler cards also right here. Uh, this makes a brave little tailor, little puzzle. And you have a little QR code for Lorcana. So we have some uh, decent stuff coming out of this pack here. Let's put the good stuff aside. Uh, we have all that right there. Again, here's what the Brave Little Tarot pack would look like. Four packs. Again, I picked these guys up at my local Walmart. I was kind of uh, surprised. They had a lot of them at, in the... Uh, in the card section, uh, but you know these are about seven dollars. I think it's six ninety nine a pack is what we paid for it. We have Maleficent pack right here. Uh, if you wanted to know what it would look like on the inside of the wrapper, here's what the inside wrapper talks about. And they talk a little bit. Here's a little QR code if you want to look at it. Uh, this is a uh, Raven Burger, I think, who makes these products. But they were again, they were really short as far as product goes. They had to make a second uh, second run because it was just a huge demand for this product. We'll move faster. We have some Tinker Bell right here. Again, this is all common stuff. I'll move a little faster through it so you can see it. Now we go to our uncommons right here. Sven, Mother Knows Best. We have a Coconut Basket. We have a Captain Hook Rare, which again, you can see that right here. If you want to read it, you can pause it right there on the screen. We have a Whole New World, which is Aladdin, and this is a super rare icon. Again, they upshifted it here. So at, at the least, you always get at least two rares in a pack. Uh, sometimes they will upshift it, and you could get a super rare, which is what we have here. And the foil is a rare Mickey Mouse, it looks like. Foil. You can see the foil right there. So not too bad. Still chasing after a couple princess cards. I have not yet seen Snow White. I have not yet seen Belle. Uh, as far as the other ones, I have a decent run of them. As far as the other ones, now the packaging on this one was another Maleficent. And the pack on the inside was for Frozen, for Elsa. And let's crack pack number three. Not bad, we pulled the Hades, which is a legendary card, which is one of the more sought after cards, at least from what I've heard about the set. Stampede, Flounder, Tangled, you want to see the good stuff. You want to get me to go past the common stuff, don't you? On commons, we have Coconut Basket. We have Ariel right there. We have uh, Kronk. And now our good stuff. We have here Hans, which is a super rare. We have Tamatoda, which is another super rare. So they upshifted both cards. And now we have the Duke of Wisdom. Duke, Duke of Wellston, which is a foil as well. So we got a decent amount of pulls here. Still no uh, bell, unfortunately. 
If you guys pull a bell for the first chapter, please let me know. I'll definitely be willing to trade a uh, bell card because I've not yet seen it. And they do have bell. If you look here in the back of the packaging, there is bell right there, but I have yet to see her. And she's considered uncommon. And I have yet to see that card. And I've cracked open, I want to say at least 35 boosters and I've yet to see her. So I don't know why she's so difficult to track down. So we're gonna go, this is the last pack guys. Last pack magic. So let's see if we get something decent. Dragon fire. We have Sven again. We have Mother Knows Best. Our first rare is Steel from the Rich. Our second rare is an Aerial Rare. And these are both rares, as you can see by the little triangles. And our foil is a Simba Common. So all things considered, if we look at what we pulled here, um, we pulled in some decent stuff. I think probably the best thing we pulled, we pulled some super rares. We have that Mickey foil. But I think the highest value card on the secondary market is probably this Hades. Um, I do have this card, but a foil version of it. So I think this is one of the more sought after cards. And that's it, guys. Four packs of the first chapter. Once again, for Lorcana is done. The Rise of the Floodborne is now out, I believe, as far as December's recording of this video. Uh, let me know if you want me to crack open any of those particular cards. I do hope you enjoyed this content. Remember to click the like button on the bottom page. Click that all important subscribe button, which picture my face. When you subscribe, don't click the bell icon be notified of my latest videos. And of course, last but not least, you can cook windows here and here to watch more of my content. Take care, guys. See you next video. And bye-bye.